Here on News 8 to 4, we'd like to take on a topic or event going on in the Susquehanna Valley. And today we're focusing on something you should do every spring. Give your car a checkup. It's not that hard, even if you know nothing about cars. News 8's Meredith Jorgensen explains. Well, it is April now and we think the snow has ended, right? That means it's the great time for a nice long drive. So we are at Horsepower Enterprises on North Prince Street in Lancaster and the staff here is going to help us get our cars ready. This is one of the premier restoration shops on the East Coast and joining me now is Gary Bell. He is one of the restoration specialists. Gary, tell me a little bit about the effect that salt can have on your car from all of that snow we did have. Well, as all of us know, no salt is uh, very corrosive to anything metal and cars are primarily metal. So if you've got salt on the inside, outside, underneath of your car, it can be the end of your car if you don't get it off at the end of the winter time. So what sort of tips do you have for making sure that the cars are salt free moving forward? Well, all of us know that there are, you know, the, the spray wash places that you can go and, and do your own washing. You can also pull through uh, and most all of those places have not only an exterior, but an underneath. And that's most critical as far as the salt's concerned because your tires are going to throw everything underneath of the car. So getting everything off of it is the first key and then once you get the car clean protecting it a good a good coat of wax uh, a speed detailer which makes it real easy to get a protective layer on the paint and that's of course crucial too great to keep this 1990 bmw m5 in good shape so coming up we have some more tips for people we'll talk a little bit about your tires and brakes it's super important when you're out driving stay with us Every afternoon here on News 8 at 4, we'd like to focus on something happening here in the Susquehanna Valley. Today, News 8's Meredith Jorgensen is visiting a car shop in Lancaster to learn about spring cleaning for your car. We're back here at Horsepower Enterprises and take a look at this 1966 red Corvette. If you have a car like this, you're certainly going to want to keep it nice. And Gary Bell is back with us with some tips for this car. And we're going to focus on tires here. Okay, so I'm going to show you how much I know, Gary. <laughs> this tire looks bald. This one looks good. Am I right? You are 100% <laughs> correct. <laughs> yeah, if you look closely, you can actually see cords in this tire. This is worn. Uh, from pro improper alignment. If you look at this tire, you can see it's got plenty of tread depth and that's what's critical, especially when we get into the springtime when we're looking at rainy and wet roads. So uh, you'll be able to hear a tire like this. You won't be able to hear one like this. This is what you want. Um, your car will tell you some things that it needs uh, and tires are definitely one of them. You can feel it, you can hear it. So it's something you need to pay attention. Now, can your car tell you a little bit about your brake pads too? Sometimes you can hear that, can't you? You can actually, and, and newer cars, this is actually a brake pad off of a, what would be a disc brake system. Uh, this is the pad, this is what wears against the, the rotor. And newer cars actually have sensors in the pad and that's tied into the electronics of the car and it'll tell you when the pad is getting too far worn. Uh, some cars don't have that technology, but most cars nowadays, have an open wheel where you can actually look in and you can see the brake pad against the rotor. Um, again, one of those things that as a car owner, you can check that. You don't need to run to your mechanic and have him tell you, oh, you need new brakes. You'll be able to hear it again, feel it in the steering wheel. And if you want to look, you can see. Definitely makes a difference. You can see the difference and if you can hear it, that helps. Okay, so we've been keeping the outside of the car nice. Coming up, we'll tell you a little bit about how to keep the inside nice, especially if you're the one driving with it. Stay with us. This afternoon, News 8 at 4 is showing you how to do some spring cleaning on your car. News 8's Meredith Jorgensen spent the afternoon at a car shop in Lancaster. So when we're talking about car care, the outside of a car is obviously important, but what about the inside where you were sitting all of the time? Gary is going to talk to us a little bit now about the damage that can happen inside your car. Gary, I usually have dog hair on the inside of my car, but there could be damaging things that you have inside. Sure, there can be. Uh, dog hair is a, a prime example. Almost every person that's a pet owner ends up with dog hair in their car. But during the winter time, you've got all kinds of things that are outside the car that end up inside the car because you track them in with your feet. So again, you get in here and you vacuum out everything. You get rid of all the cinders, all the salt, the rocks, everything. Maybe even if the carpet is soiled, you can, you can use a carpet cleaner. Uh, and then, you know, obviously sitting in a car that's nice and clean, it makes you want to drive it. Um, 
What sort of things can you uh, use? A, a simple dust off where you can just blow stuff off of the dash. Something that fast is, is enough to clean all of the lint and stuff out of the way so that you feel like you just want to jump in and, and go for a ride. It kind of gets in all those nooks and crannies too, which I think makes a difference. And I think you're right. It just feels better when you're sitting in a nice clean car. Okay, so if you're sitting in a clean car though, you certainly want to make sure you can see out the windshield. So coming up, our next set of tips are on windshield wipers. We'll be back. All afternoon on News 84, we've been talking about how to make sure your car is ready for your summer road trip. Now that we're away from the throes of winter, here again is News 8's Meredith Jorgensen. All right, we're talking about car care. What if you're a backseat driver? If you were in this 37 Plymouth, you'd literally be outside when you're in the backseat. If you have great cars like this or just everyday run of the mill cars at home, making sure you can see out of the windshield is one of the most important things. So Gary's back with one of our last tips. Tell us a little bit about maintaining clear windshields. I love the backseat driver comment <laughs> about this car. That's fantastic. Okay, first thing is the windshield is what's the most crucial thing when you're driving a car because you have to be able to see out of it. So keeping the glass clean is one thing, making it so that your windshield wipers can actually keep the water off of it going into the springtime is another thing. So you've got a glass cleaner and then you've also got a glass cleaner that has a repellent in it, which actually coats the windshield so that the water actually slicks off of it. Uh, helps make your windshield wipers even more efficient. So people would see that the water beads up when you use that kind of product. It makes it, you know, a little bit better in the rain. And it literally does bead up. Uh, you could drive down the road with your windshield wipers off if you have your windshield treated and the water literally sheets off of the windshield. It's pretty cool. And then we want to check your windshield wipers and you say not even once a year, you say once a spring. Yeah, I, I really recommend it. I'm an inspection mechanic, so, you know, I see cars every year. People replace their windshield wipers when they do their inspection annually. That's usually a pretty common thing, but I actually recommend at the end of the, end of the winter time uh, to replace your wiper blades because not everybody clears the windshield off. So you have ice. Ice and rubber, who's going to win the match? The, 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 the rubber's going to lose. You end up with nicks in your blade. Then when you go to, everybody knows this, you turn the windshield wipers on and you have a line on the windshield and that drives you crazy. So that's another tip that I would recommend. You have not driven me crazy today. In fact, this has been really fun and I think we should just take these cars for a joyride just to test out all the theories. Does that sure. sound good? All good. Get the key. <laughs> Gary, thank you so much. Hopefully welcome. everybody will be driving well and safely and enjoying those long drives this spring. Back to you guys.